students, I wanna show you how to do this Safe Water Love from Science Takeout. I'm just gonna get you started on it so that you can complete it on your own. Um, really important for this lab, of course, is to read the background information to make sure you have your um, gloves on and this is a lab for your goggles. So everything in this lab is home safe for you to be around, it's okay. Um, so don't worry about these. Some of them are like um, arsenic and it's got coliform and nitrates. Uh, these are all simulated things, so um, they're not a danger, but you should still be really careful with the protective gloves and eyewear and be careful when you are doing this that it's um, that you take precautions. Okay, so in this um, background, you're going to read about part one, the case of the ailing infant. So a sick infant that is five months old, has had um, vomiting, diarrhea, bluish skin, weakness, and increased in breathing rate. You're gonna read about the patient's history and how they just moved to this area with well water. And then the recommendation is that things should be tested. I expect you to read that more in depth so that you um, have a better understanding, but that's just to get you started. Additionally, it's really important to look over this fact sheet with well water safety. Please look up what um, coliform bacteria does, the dangers of that, and nitrates and arsenic. Please make sure you highlight that and go through it and really understand it so you know what we're testing for. That will help you answer the questions later in the lab. So the first part, um, in my prep work here, I want to point out that um, each pipette should go with one um, bottle of solution so they each have their own. You can see that I hand wrote all the labels onto my pipettes. My pipettes came where they were all labeled incorrectly. It said nitrate test solution on all of mine which means that somebody else probably got them all labeled something else. So um, I just flipped them all over to the back side and I relabeled them. So the well water has one that says well, and um, the nitrate says NIT, so I know that stands for nitrate. Chloroform has, has um, coliform has C-O-L-I, and arsenic has A-R-S. So, um, if you have something like that, you can fix that mistake on your own, but always make sure that one pipette goes into one sample and that you don't use this same pipette then on a different sample next. Don't do that. Always um, practice aseptic technique, uh, meaning that you're gonna use one pipette for one bottle of solution and then you don't reuse it again, okay? Um, the otherwise you get cross contamination, you get uh, results that wouldn't be accurate. Okay, so for the first direction, it's gonna say, I'm gonna cover that up and we're just gonna follow these directions here. Your first direction says place one drop of well water onto each of the well water testing um, circles here. So I'm gonna come in here and get my well water sample and I'm gonna use my well water pipette here and I'm gonna pipette out um, one drop, it says. So I'm gonna put one drop, normally I would put one drop on each of those, but um, I don't wanna give the answers away, so I am going to cap that and put my well water back with my well water pipette. Um, once you've done that with each of them, then you're gonna add one drop of each of the appropriate test solutions, add one drop to each of those. So when you drop, um, when you drop this um, dropper solution, it says start with coliform. So I put it on the coliform dot, so I want to actually grab the coliform um, solution test, and it's matching pipette. When I do that, um, make sure that when you open it up that you do not, and you, and you get a little bit in your pipette, make sure that you do not touch your pipette to the circle of well water solution. It should drop from above it, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do that there because there's not enough to this lab to give you good examples, but when I put it on there, it may actually change color. 
and you are gonna do that for each of them, but then you're gonna compare the color to this chart. So coliform bacteria samples that are very red to a dark orange color, that's considered safe. A lighter orange to a yellow, that is considered unsafe. So you're gonna have to make the judgment call if um, coliform bacteria is in um, Joey's well water, okay? So after that, you are going to uh, do that with the nitrates and with the arsenic. You're gonna compare. After you pipette it here, you're gonna compare and record the answers. And then you're just going to answer the questions. Which of his symptoms might be caused by unsafe nitrate levels? Which one, um, name the condition caused by un by unsafe nitrate levels. So to find out that information, you go back to your fact sheet and you can read about, like I would read nitrate levels on there and find out more about nitrates. So keep referring back after this to each of these. It'll ask some coliform bacteria questions and it will also ask for, I believe it asks for the arsenic um, somewhere on here. So just make sure you keep referring back to this sheet and then you're going to complete your lab with um, what are the likely contaminants and you can find some of that information here from likely contaminants and listed three, three actions that Joey's family should do. This to improve Joey's health. That's how you complete this uh, safe water lab with science takeout. I hope you enjoy it and have fun. When you are done um, turning that or completing it, please make sure to, you can throw out this piece of paper, but you're gonna rinse your little pipettes and you're gonna put them back in the envelopes that you have. Put them back in your envelopes for safekeeping and for the person that uses it next year. Um, also, please try to include at least one picture of you guys actually doing the lab, like some picture of this. I'd like to see what you guys do. All right, take care.